What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadskin. I'm back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and in today's video I'll show you guys the teams that I used in order to take on the brand new Chaos Difficulty Diamante Colosseum. Now before we get into the teams, let's talk about Diamante really quickly. So his special ability maxes at 17 turns and if you use it when you're at full health, you get a 2 times driven attack boost. However, if you're not at full health and you activate the special ability, you get a 1.5 times attack boost to driven. So, overall, not a very good unit. He does a little bit of AoE damage as well. It's not a lot of AoE damage, it's just a small chunk of damage. And his captain ability is pretty bad as well. So, overall, this unit isn't really that great. He's definitely not as good as a lot of the other Chaos Difficulty Colosseums, a lot of the other 50 Stamina Colosseums. So, if you guys don't want to farm DM, Monte, it's completely fine. He's not really used that much anyways. Being that really strict condition that you have to be at full health to get your maximum boost is really, really bad. Um, however, if you are in that circumstance where you are at full health, uh, then he's actually amazing. A two times driven attack boost is always welcome. However, you know, it's just not that great being having to be at full health for the full boost. Uh, so hopefully you guys still go on to enjoy the video. Remember, these are the teams that I used in order to take on the Colosseum. And I know not everyone will be able to build these teams, but I still hope that you guys still go on to enjoy. And if you guys do, make sure to smack the like button down below as it's always greatly appreciated. But without further ado, let's get into today's video. So round number one is going to be against Bartolomeo. Now Barto actually has a lot of barriers. Now a lot of the mob characters before you reach the final stage will have barriers as well. So bringing along a friend or your own legend Blackbeard is going to be so so helpful in this. And it's going to help you clear it so much easier. Um, but yeah, basically you just bring legend Blackbeard and some AoE damage dealers. Especially Fuji's good because he does damage through barriers. That's going to help you clear this dungeon a ton easier uh, against Colosseum Barto. Round number two is going to be against Usopp. Now, Usopp has 1.8 million health, and he'll attack every turn for 5,200 damage. Now, he actually puts up a significant damage reduction for the first three turns. So, ideally, what you want to do here is bring along a friend or legend Blackbeard Captain, and that will help you clear it a lot easier because uh, Blackbeard bypasses that rainbow shield, that damage reduction effect that Usopp inflicts. Uh, and then you can just take it down reasonably easily as the mob characters have like 70,000 health and Usopp, as I said, has 1.8. Uh, so yeah, reasonably easy to take down. If you don't take him down after the first two turns, though, he will poison you and blind you. So be careful about that as well. Round number three is going to be against Orlumbus. Now, Orlumbus is just super, super, super annoying. Although, if you have Shirahoshi, Shirahoshi actually makes this reasonably easy. But what he'll do is, is he changes your orbs into bother orbs, and you actually can't change them. Every time you change your orbs, he goes ahead and changes them back to block over and over and over again. So, ideally, if you have Shirahoshi, you can go and use her, use her special. You'll get all rainbow orbs. They cannot be manipulated, and you can lock them with uh, someone like uh, Raidao Kiji or something like that. So, you can keep maintaining those orbs a bit. That is the easier way to do it. I just wanted to use V2 Luchi because... I love using B2 Luchi. Uh, obviously, you can see I brought Rare Recruit or Lumbus to this because he just clears the entire stage by himself, and that leaves you with just all Lumbus because all of the surrounding characters around all Lumbus actually have a lot of health. They have like over 300,000 uh, health each. So, by using all Lumbus as special, it does a mass amount of AoE damage and kills off everything. But basically, all this guy does is change orbs every single turn to uh, block orbs on the first turn, then bomb, then green, then yellow, and he keeps cycling through that every single turn. Uh, turn so you're just going to be careful about that uh and don't manipulate the orbs but anyways i'll see you guys in the fourth round against coliseum diamante Round number four is going to be against Doflamingo. Now, Doflamingo has 5.2 million health, and he'll attack every turn for 6,200 damage. He has a preemptive attack that just reverses the cooldown of everyone by one turn. After the first attack, he does 20,000 damage and will also paralyze everyone for one turn as well. And under 30%, he'll paralyze everyone and then deal 30,000 damage. So, he can be quite difficult to take down, but if you have a special cooldown reducer and a fair amount of quick characters, the best thing to do here is to try and 
and maybe health cut him because he does have a lot of health. 5.2 million is a lot. So some health cutters and some strong blue units are going to be your best bet against this Doflamingo. And I'll see you guys on the final round of Chaos Coliseum Diamante. And now we reach the final round against Colosseum Diamante. However, on stage three of each of the runs that you do, you'll have to come up against one of the previous bosses that we just challenged. So uh, I'm going to go through all these different stages here. But in this example team, one thing that I would recommend to bring is just a delayer. Some sort of delayer helps out a lot against uh, all of the stage three fights. It really does depend on what type of team you're bringing. On my specific team, having a delayer also being the type booster being Fukuboshi actually helps a lot. So uh, Fukuboshi can be used for his offensive prowess or for his defensive prowess to help delay the enemy so I can, you know, outstall specific buffs. As you saw there, I used it so I don't take any uh, specific uh, ability damage from the blue units. On the Usopp stage here, he has a one turn uh, mass damage reduction. So I go ahead and use the uh, Fukuboshi ideally to delay him and then kill him on the previous turn however in this example here I actually go ahead and uh, and actually get absolutely destroyed by Usopp but it's fine uh, after this I am still able to kill him after that but ideally what you want to do here first is use Fukuboshi to delay him and then on the second turn, you can take him out with normal attacks. And then we move on to the last one, which is going to be Orlumbus. Orlumbus is extremely annoying, but Fukuboshi helps out a lot with that. Uh, all of the surrounding characters, including Orlumbus, have at least 200 to 300,000 health. Orlumbus himself has 500,000 health. So they all have, you know, a decent amount of damage. And uh, what you want to do is just activate your uh, Fukuboshi to delay if you are about to take a lot of damage. If you are able to take attacks, you can go ahead and take an attack. And then when you're ready to take them down, then you can use your Fukuboshi special to give you an extra attack boost in order to kill all of the enemies. Uh, but remember that he does the exact same thing as before. He keeps changing orbs every single turn and you can't go ahead and get rid of that. That stupid interrupt is always there. So, you know, it's extremely annoying having to deal with uh, all Lumbus on this stage. But then we come to Doflamingo once again. Doflamingo this time only has 2 million health. And he'll go ahead and reverse all your character's cooldowns by one turn. Again, extremely annoying to deal with. And then he does 20,000 damage on that first turn as well. Um, but uh, ideally what you want to do is, you know, just do a little bit of damage to Doflamingo, wait for your specials to come back up, and then you'll go ahead and burst him down after that. Because when you get to the Diamante stage, that is actually a little bit tricky. So, the Diamante stage is extremely weird because he actually is surrounded by a bunch of fodder and they all are extremely weak. But what happens is, is if you clear out all the fodder, ideally with a special or something like that, he goes ahead and applies all these different debuffs to your crew, and it's extremely annoying to deal with. Um, so the, the ideal thing here is to either bring someone that can get rid of bind, or bring someone that does specials that does not kill off the all of the uh, surrounding characters. So you'll see in the example team here of exactly what I use in order to take down this dungeon uh, with the team that I have. Uh, the team that I use here is with the Colosseum Neko. Colosseum Neko gives a type boost and also will give us all of our matching orbs because the final stage does have that uh, debuff protector, so we can get that. And then we go ahead and use our Raid Fuji for our two times orb boost, but Raid Fuji special will kill off all the mob characters. What will happen then is, is then Diamante will then go ahead and chain our captains for seven turns, I believe it is, and then we can use our Wild Sanji to get rid of all that bind, and we get a 25 times chain lock, and that is enough damage in order to kill off Diamante in a single turn. So this team actually works extremely well. The stage 3 fights can be a little bit tricky, but uh, overall, it's not very hard to use this team and, and, and be very, very successful. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. And if you guys have enjoyed it, make sure to smack the like button down below. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content I post on my channel, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.